It's time to feed the beast. Hello, and we are covering for Stucco while YouTube uh, slows his uploads. Something wrong with his uploads. So we are going to take care of the shipyard. And we're going to do this in our patented high-speed fashion. So hang on to your pants. Here we go. As you can see, we've already cleared out a very large area. And now we need to move all of this equipment back because it's in the way. Um, we also have a slight overflow in creosote, so we had to actually pump that out of creosote in order to do anything. So there we just get that pumping and cleaned out. And then we start cleaning up the uh, the various bits and bobs that we don't need. I pull out and I have, I'm actually using a mining drill here with a, with a uh, bat pack on so that I can do this quickly. Uh, I'll show how to make one of those in uh, one of our co-op episodes. So I'm just tearing down the blast furnace here so that I can push it back and I'm just going to move it back three units and I'm just measuring and making sure I, I get it in the right spot. So we just lay this out and pull out the other bit here. And we rebuild our blast furnace so that we can we're eventually going to build a little hut around this blast furnace so that we're out of the weather and uh, it looks more uh, finished, really. Before it just looked like it was stuck there randomly. So we finished our blast furnace and I'm, here I am just checking the creosote levels. So the creosote is still pumping out. So we're prepping for moving the creosote and that's where we're going to put the tank. We're going to tank all of our creosote over to this area over here. Um, now we're just trying to uh, get all of our waterproof pipes out so we can prep that area and I punch a hole because we're going to drop the uh, the engine down below um, and flush with the floor. So now I'm just putting in some wooden waterproofing, just prepping everything for moving the coke oven. And now taking out the, um, the drill and removing the input tubing, the pneumatic tubes we use to input everything and removing the pneumatic um, uh, transposer thingy, whatever that was. And I'm just checking that creosote level again, um, hoping that I'm not going to run out and I, I fear that I was, so I went and got another tank and stuck that up because, um, well, last thing I really wanted to do was have to deal, go get more glass. Though I do end up having to go get more glass later on. So now we're just going to move. I, did, I realized after I brought that one crafting table over, I already had one and didn't know why. That long cut you see there, me, I'm standing in front of this long cut, that's where the wall of the dry dock is going to be. And I'm just cutting down three blocks and I'm going to put uh, stone brick in. So the walls of the dry dock is going to be stone brick. And the floor, I hadn't decided the floor yet. Um, I actually had a key stuck there, so I went shooting off into space. And we're just digging down and making sure that we have enough stone block in all the right spots. And we're checking our creosote oven again. And it's empty, so it's time to start breaking down the creosote oven. Go. And now we'll just tear the creosote oven down and slide it back three blocks as well. So this allows us to have enough room to have a, a nice walkway. And I also had another idea planned for um, uh, for the, the area by the dry dock. And we're just going to rebuild our coke oven again. Everything being built the same as it was last time. There we go, coke oven is done. Now I'm just trying to figure out how much pipe I need to pipe that creosote because to bucket that creosote takes forever. So I kind of think about it and um, realized I didn't have enough pipe. So um, we decided instead I'm just going to build the building or the start of the building around the coke oven and the blast furnace just to give me an idea of what what I needed, where I'm going to have to put the pneumatic piping and, um, and everything like that. And here I am just running the pneumatic pipe just to get an idea and realizing I didn't have enough pneumatic pipe. So <laughs> even if I tried, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. 
So instead, I went back to working on the uh, on the little hut. Uh, I am after I built this, and you'll see it um, tomorrow, actually, because this is going to be a two-part. Uh, I went to get more stuff to finish this. Um, this is going to be a two-part, so tomorrow you'll see it. When this building is finished, I didn't really like the look. Even here, I was sort of questioning what I was doing, um, but I went with the cobblestone anyway, and um, I'm no longer sure I really want to stay with the cobblestone. I went and got more pneumatic tube, and there I put down the device. I don't know if it's facing the right direction or not, but at the time, I really didn't care, honestly. Um, I just wanted to get it there out of my inventory and kind of give me an idea where I was going to put the um, the chest that it was going to pull out of. Now the the chests that are sitting here and they're going to stay here through the entire build. Um, they're actually there because they're full of stuff. Um, when I cleared out this huge cut, I just kept throwing stuff into those chests, and now those chests are full of crap, and I have to take some time to to clean them out. And I didn't feel like doing that here, so I'll probably be doing that off screen. And we jump over to another view, as I'm now going to finish this dry docking. So while the while I was um, thinking about the creosote oil and how I was going to pump the creosote, I decided, you know, I might as well just go ahead and clear this out. And again, we're going down three blocks with stone brick. I actually found a, another uh, cave underneath. And there's actually a lot of caves underneath this and that actually is going to work out well and when we get to, to digging out some more I'll, sh I'll talk about why um, I think that's going to work out really well for what we're planning on doing. Remember this is a dry dock so whatever is here has to be floated in and floated out. It's also going to be the construction yard so we're going to build our ships and after they're they're ready to to go out, they'll float it out and um, and then do the outfitting in a separate dock. Now of course this is Minecraft so we have to pretend because we can't really do these things um, but we're gonna build as though we could really do it because you know who knows maybe a mod creator down the road is gonna think it's a really cool idea and make us a mod that we can uh, float a ship around. And here I'm just clearing out the rest of this dry dock area trying to get an idea of how big it is. And I wasn't really sure at this point if I wanted to go down um, two or three blocks. And I, there I fell into another hole. <laughs> There's holes all over this area. Um, it's sort of like Swiss cheese. So again, I wasn't really sure. Did I want to go down two blocks or did I want to go down three blocks? And I did decide I was going to have three blocks. And, and the mining drill, it's just such a nice tool to have when you're doing these big digs like this. Um, I broke tons of pickaxes digging this out before I finally just gave up and went and built the drill. Again, we'll talk about building the drill and the backpack when we do one of the co-ops. And we'll do the co-op as um, soon as we can get, uh, me and Sako can get back together after he gets, his, gets the whole YouTube upload problem sorted out. You see how quick this is. I mean, yes, this is a double time video, but even so, even with a double time video, this is moving pretty quickly, cutting through all of this rock. And with the backpack, I have a, a huge amount of power in reserve for my, my drill. I can just continue on going. And we come back to the back, and you, this, that cobblestone. Uh, piece that runs across sort of the middle of the screen there. That was my measuring. I had counted out the size of the ship I wanted, so I knew how big I wanted, and that kind of gave me a, a certain size, and that's what that cobblestone piece is for. It was my measurement to make sure that I made this dock big enough that whatever ship I built would fit in here. And here I decided I needed to go down one more and put in a cobblestone bottom to the dry dock. Now I could have kept it smooth stone, but I wanted the feel of this has been dug up, this has been constructed specifically for ships. So I wanted a cobblestone bottom. Stone brick didn't make a lot of sense to me. I thought about mossy cobblestone, um, but that would have necessitated me uh, either going and pulling all of our mossy cobblestone out or 
um, going and finding some more dungeons. Now I can build a, um, there's a, there's a forestry device that would build for me some mossy cobblestone, or turn cobblestone into mossy cobblestone. But again, I wanted to build as few machines as possible during this Let's Build series, um, or break to the Feed the Beast. I want to build all the machines in the regular co-op. And that's something else that is missing here. I'm not going to just have a dry dock with a, a, um, a hole in the ground. We're going to have this slightly operational. I'm going to use um, the red power machines and Blutricity to open and close a gate between the ocean and the dry dock. And I'm also going to use red power pumps to pump water in and out of the dry dock to float our ship. Here we've changed our camera view a little bit so that we can come over here and work on the back end of the dry dock. So we'll we will talk about the red power machines and what we're going to do either during a co-op or maybe I'll save it for um, a let's play or a, not a let's play a live stream or something like that. Um, but I want to build it with Stocko around and 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 talk about it, not do a high speed run through building it. So here we're just clearing out down to our predetermined height putting out torches. Um, I didn't realize how bad the snow was going to pick up on the on the camera here, but we, we only snowed for most of the build. It seems to rain every other Minecraft day in our world. I don't know why, but it does. Here I'm just digging everything out to the proper depth, and if I see any ore, I go chase the ore, because you can never have too much ore. I go jumping down to get some more. And then we just fill everything in with cobblestone just to make it all look the same. And I think that looks about right. When you think about a dry dock, the bottom is going to be all scuffed and ripped up. Um, you can have a ship down there. So you don't want it to be a really nice finished material. You'd want to be a kind of a rough material. See how quick the cut is with the mining drill. The mining drill is relatively easy to build, um, but it also holds very little power. It holds only 10,000 EU of power, so it doesn't take much before um, it's out of power. And there I am just checking to make sure I had everything in the right spot. You'll see kind of off to the left there's a channel going off. That was my cut in and to show me where I needed to stop. And I was also checking kind of at the top of the screen, there's a bottom of a torch, and that's that big measurement thing that's hovering in the air, just showing me where I needed to put uh, the various bits of this dry dock, just to make sure that my ship would fit in. Now as I dig here, you'll see that there's a hole right in front of me, and that's actually very good for us, because I'm going to have now, red power pumps can only go one direction. They're one directional pumps, in or out. What we'll do is we're going to have two sets of pumps. We're going to have a set of pumps to pump water in and a set of pumps to pump water out. And we're going to store this water in a giant underground reservoir. So we'll be able to pump the water in and out as necessary. So all those holes, those holes are going to lead down into the reservoir. It'll make it easier for me to plumb this out with the red power pump. And we're just laying down a little bit more cobblestone, lighting it up so that we're sure that everyone can see. And working on our wall, and mis misplacing a block, of course. You can get a good look at the drill there. Alright, so here's a, the last of the large block. And it really, when you think about how long this takes, even in double time, uh, if you go back and watch some of the co-op, you'd realize how much I had cleared out prior to. Um, 
there was just a lot of stuff to clear. And here I'm going, I was afraid I was going to cut through and cut into the water because I don't want to lose that water quite yet. I want to keep it there just to give me an idea of where my dry dock is going to be. I will have to remove that water and I'll use red power pumps to pull that water out of there just so I can save it. Um, but I didn't, I am going to have to clean, clear that water out because it goes way too deep. It doesn't, it goes, you know, five, seven uh, blocks deep, something like that. But we only need three blocks. And then for the rest of the reservoir, we'll probably use something like rain tanks so that we can pull water, um, we can save water from the rain since it rains all the time here in this particular server. I was slowing down there at the end because I was so afraid I was going to punch through that sand and I was going to end up with a flood. It really wasn't what I wanted at the time. You can sort of see in the back of my little guy there, he's got his his uh, battery backpack on, powering that mining drill. It did create a situation where a lot of times I'd fall down somewhere and then I'd have to go and switch to the jetpack in order to fly away. And in fact, once I finished this um, dry dock, I actually have to go to the, the jetpack to get out because I've basically carved myself into a little hole here. So we finished there. You can see there's actually another little cave right where that brick ends. And I'm uncovering yet another cave here now. Again, very important for us later when we uh, when we start putting in those red power pumps and plumbing in all of that. I'm putting out more torches just to be sure that there's enough light as the night is slowly descending on our little Minecraft world. Now all of these goodies, we're, we're going to save all of these goodies. They become useful to us later. Um, and I ended up throwing a lot of them right back up there. I went falling down a hole. I actually have to get the battery, the jetpack on to get out of there. Um, the, I actually ran out of cobblestone at one point in this build and I just shocked the heck out of me. How could I run out of cobblestone? Uh, but I kept throwing things back into, into barrels in the warehouse and just uh, random chests as well. So, you know, it kind of makes sense. I also was cooking up a lot of cobblestone for stone brick so that I would have stone brick. And there we can see the floor coming in and I really do like the look of that the bottom as a uh, the cobblestone as a bottom for this. It looks right to me. Now we're going to put up our brick here. And I'm making some more brick really quickly. I do like the fact that the brick can be made in your personal crafting table instead of having to go get a regular crafting table. That does make it very nice. So there we go. We've got our uh, our dry dock. So now the dry dock has to continue and it has to continue into this water. Now here it, it really um, drove me crazy here. I'm, I'm constantly hitting that same bit of sand it wouldn't break for me. I started to think it was my mining drill so I do eventually switch to a torch because you know a torch will always clean out the sand. So we needed to, to cut this pool of water in half and I'm, I do like the jetpack for uh, handling a lot of underwater work because you can work until you're just about out of air and then just go shooting up into the air right away. So it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing um, but I'm filling in sand to make an even bed underneath here so that I, can, I don't use too much stone brick because stone brick is still to some extent valuable to me. I don't want to use it if I don't have to. So we're just creating a nice flat area using sand and then we'll run stone brick across the top. And there it looks like I finally finished. And now we're just running stone brick this is where I wished I could go. I could reach down three instead of just two blocks. It would make that so much easier. There we go. And now we can just finish that off. 
And we've got... Oh, we ran out of stone brick again. Of course we did. We always are running out. And then falling through the ice. And there we go. Now I'm going to go and take the sand, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill in this bit of dirt over here. Um, it actually comes back to bite me later, because I end up ripping all this sand out to replace it with cobblestone. But right now it makes sense to me. It kind of defines where this dry dock is going a little bit better. And it also gives us an idea of how big we're looking at for a little... I think I'm going to build a, uh, a blacksmith over here to uh, work on the iron needs for the ship. So, falling in the water again. But there we go. Finish that, that little area there. Now I'm coming back and just checking to see how much more I need to remove. And I, I realized I had put my stone brick on sand, so I have to clean that area out and um, put stone brick back in that area. And there I am fighting with the water because the water was giving me a hard time there. And this is where we're going to stop the video for today. Uh, tomorrow we'll finish up some more of this and uh, try to beautify this area. So until next time, bye!